the road that took us to Polosa, near Suleja, in Niger State. The muddy road to Polosa is slippery during the rainy season. As you can see, some volunteers had to disembark from the bus for safety reasons. Now, here you can see a woman that came to the outreach who was blind in both eyes, totally blind. You can see she was led by her husband. Now, please watch this video to the very end to see how God restored her sight after the eye surgery. Now, see the woman here when the nurse was taking her into the theater for the surgery, for the eye surgery. You can see her husband coming behind her. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the August 16th to 19th outreach of the Life Light Health Ministry, which took place at Polosa, a community near Suleja in Niger State. Now, this, uh, all the people you are seeing here actually are the volunteers that came from Equa Church, Wuse 2, and um, Equa Worship Center at Kaura district in Abuja, all these came to help the community at Bolosa. Now this is the first day and the first gathering of uh, patients from the community that came out to be treated. Here is uh, engineer elder James Icheme um, addressing the people before the start of the outreach. So, it is free. When I I can tell you that I know a power, it's free because it's from God. I can tell you that I have a power that I have a power that I have a Okay, here you see the vital signs department. You can see the man in yellow and red dress standing up there. This is the husband of the woman sitting on the seat. This is a woman that is blind in both eyes, taking the vital signs. You will see this woman again in this video. Um, again, this is the vital signs section. They are taking the signs of the people before going to see a doctor. This is a doctor consulting. This is Dr. Ebe, former chairman of the Hospital Management Board of FCT. Um, Dr. Liberty and Dr. Peter Alabi, Dr. Charles Manman examining a patient. Here is a child evangelist leading a child to Christ during the program. Again, uh, a counselor is talking to um, a Muslim woman that came with her child, preaching the word of God. Here is uh, the lab uh, technician taking blood samples. Here are other people waiting in line. Um, before the laboratory scientists. Here now we are dispensing drugs. This was on the first day of the program. Again, this is at the surgery. These are uh, drugs being prepared for the people on whom operations were carried out at the surgery. Um, this is the optician testing the eyes of the people to see. You can see on the left corner that woman and her husband 
That woman that was blind in both eyes, she's the one sitting in that chair. Here they are testing the eyes of this woman for glasses so that she can read with them. You see this old man here also came blind in both eyes. Even somebody who had an eye problem is helping him step down there. You will see this man give his testimony later. These are other people that were operated on and the uh, cotton wall is still on bandage, is still, are still there. Until they are removed, here is an eye surgery going on. Dr. Kamshak Dayin from Joss is operating the eyes. Here are doctors, uh, nurses. This is the doctor backing us. The two people in brown dress are nurses helping him. Here is a little child being operated on for hynea. Another serious operation going on there on another patient. Here is a major growth being removed from the back of a woman. Another serious uh, hernia surgery. These are the things that people, God did for people free of charge. 35 of these were done for people. Now, let us watch the testimony of this woman herself who was totally blind. Um, the testimonies of the others follow after this. Before, ask her. You could not see before mm -mm. when you came here. Yes. But now, what about now? How about your hair? Elime. He's seen now. Very well. Ask her. Maybe she can see. Ask her. Ask her. Ask her. Ask her. Ask her. Ask her. What are you going to do? Speak up, speak up. I'm going to do me. I'm going to do me. What is this? Phone. Okay. When you came before, what happened, sir? When I came before. Uh, this, uh, this place is not as bright as this. But now it's brighter than before. You can now see better than before. Uh, uh, it, it's normal than yesterday that we came. Okay. Mm. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Before, before now, there's a growth at the left of my eyes, which I cannot see very well. But now, after the operation yesterday, I'm seeing clearly now. I give God glory. Very, very clearly. I'm now. seeing very clearly the now. The way you used to see before. Yes. But before, when you came, what happened? I was not seeing very well. I was not seeing very clearly. But after this operation, I'm seeing very clear now. Before I come here, there's something like sand inside my eye and uh, covering me, covering the eye. But now, I'm okay. Honestly, I thank the doctors and other, the, the life, uh, uh, the life light, life, uh, light uh, help ministry. God will bless them. In fact, this is this my case started since in eighty seven from Lagos before I came down here. I was thinking that is a minor case. The thing persists continuously. So I have been to other checkup, even in Gen uh, Suleja Hospital, National Hospital. Before I got this information, I came down with them. They brought me here and the thing has been done. I'm very, very grateful. Yeah. So all the ailments you're having with the eyes is gone now? Yes, I can be using this one now. To, I already closed this one. I'm, I mean this one. And I'm using this one to see now. But before you could not see? I cannot see. Praise the Lord for that. Yeah, thank you. So the time when uh, the eye, they pain me. The eye, just they be like a thing where they pour sand. For my eye, but as for today, where they remove the bandage for my eye, I thank God. Say I'm okay. I was feeling as sand is in my eye, so when I came, I was selected for the operation, and the operation was uh, successful. Now, as you can see, I am not feeling that again. I just woke up one certain morning and everywhere was white. I couldn't see anything. 
red was white. But I normally feel somebody was passing because I can see somebody's shadow. But I couldn't see anything. So my mommy woke me one morning that we should attend one carnival there. So when we went there, they said they were going to come for an operation. So I came and thanks God the operation was successful and now I can see better. Good morning to you ask. My name is Usamu Yojue. Before there is some uh, catalyst in my eye, but now it's not be there again. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of four days program at Polosa, 742 souls were saved. And this is the best part of the outreach. We did 96 eye surgeries. Two of the people came in totally blind. And when doctors operated them, the two of them began to, began to see clearly after many years of blindness. Then we operated um, or carried out 35 medical surgeries, all of them successful. All the glory goes to God. People, this is what we do. And God has given us the grace since 2005, April, up until now. This is what we have been doing. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Forward this video to your friends. Let people see what God is doing. See, this is a fulfillment of the vision I saw, particularly to make blind people to see through surgeries. When God is going to graduate us to lay hands on people and their eyes are opening, you also will see. But send us your comments. Subscribe, be a part of what is going, and God will bless you.